Well, of course, a day at the beach should be fun for all, even your pet. But a frolic at the shore can sometimes spell trouble for your animals. Now, the sand and surf can actually cause health problems for some. Yeah, one woman learned mm. that the hard way, and CBS 2's Lisa Siegel has a warning for pet owners. Josie, ready? Go! Dawn McCarthy loves to take her dog Josie to the beach to play, but now she's being more careful. And my heart just sank in my stomach because I didn't know what was going on, what could have even happened. It was summertime. She was playing catch with her dog with a tennis ball, Josie running around in and out of the water. A few fun hours until they got home. My dog was not feeling like herself. She wasn't eating. She really wasn't drinking. Um, and she actually threw up a few times. She took her dog to the Conejo Valley Veterinary Hospital. They examined her, and this is what they found. Package of sand here, a pack of sand there, and then also in the stomach right there. Yes, inside Josie, a six-inch impaction in her small intestine, a three-inch impaction in her large intestine, and more sand in her stomach. When they pick up the tennis ball, all the sand is trapped around it, and they end up swallowing it. When they're digging around, trying to get any kind of food or leftovers, or just having fun at the beach, they'll ingest some of that sand. Enough of it builds up, and it cannot move through and cause some major problems. Dr. Jason Schweitzer says this is a common problem, especially with small dogs, and it can lead to serious complications, even surgery. He also says ingesting too much salt water can be dangerous. There's bacteria that's in the water that they're not used to. It's also all of that salt in there, and it dehydrates the body. Dawn now follows doctor's orders when it comes to beach play, using a rubber ball when she can so the sand won't stick, and cleaning off tennis balls after each catch. She also keeps her dog from digging for food and plays more on dry rather than wet areas. And when they get home, she watches how Josie feels. My hope is that no other dog has to be taken into the hospital and that other dog owners are aware of some of the dangers. I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News.